as he said, I'm Philip Samuels. I am the Residential Load Center Product Manager for Siemens. If I call myself a project manager, that's because that's what I did before this. So I often mix that up. So the plug-on neutral is our um, latest load center. It comes in the PN and SN series, which are essentially replacing the um, PL and the ES series. There are some some differences, and um, you know we have a tagline for it. We call it simple, spacious, and secure because those are the three big takeaways on this load center. Um, so the first thing we did when our engineers uh, designed this new load center is they they kept it as much like the original series as possible, retaining all the positive features, the convertibility of the uh, PL series from main lug to main breaker or main breaker to main lug is retained in the PN series. There's the bonding screw, um, the insta wire with the uh, neutral bars and the ground bars with the uh, screws already backed out, uh, the visible neutrals. So when you're looking down on, on the load center, you can see where your neutrals are landed. Um, both the PN and the SN series are invertible and uh, they both utilize the sturdy hook rails. Um, what is new is this integrated neutral bus bar, which run down, runs down the inside of the uh, hook rails on both sides, so that with the electronic breakers, you can uh, clip that neutral side right on there. Um, and that's what, why we kept it simple. Uh, the other part of the simplicity is with the breakers. The breakers um, look almost identical, except for, as you'll see later, the clip that goes on the neutral rail. But they go in the same way. There's no pigtail. There's no uh, new method of installation. Um, there's still a, a small profile breaker. And that's going to go to our spaciousness. Uh, you know, the electronic footprint. Um, four inches of wire bending space on the gutters. And as you can see on the left side is a standard installation with the uh, old breakers. And on the right side is with the new breakers. It's much cleaner, much more visible. Um, the pigtails were intentionally not trimmed to length because in some jurisdictions, inspectors do not allow that. And so we wanted to keep it uh, realistic and somewhat the way people would see this in a typical thing. Um, you may be able to trim those and make it look much neater than it is, but you get the picture with this. Um, so the secure. So as you can see, we use the same clip uh, to plug on the neutral bus as we do on the line side. This clip has been used um, for over a decade. It's proven itself to be a secure, great connection. And so we get that same, same thing on the neutral bus. And that's why it was designed this way. We also have uh, on the electronic breakers, one of the big changes is that you'll see on the uh, CAFCI breakers, one lug has been removed because the neutral does not need to be landed directly on the breaker. It can go anywhere on the neutral bar after it's uh, plugged on. So that, that makes it simple. You don't have to keep track of every uh, neutral wire. On the dual function and uh, the GFCI breakers, you do have to land the neutral directly onto the breaker. And what that's gonna also do is it's gonna allow for some extra space on the neutral bar because you're not gonna be using um, that for the dual functions. So with the, uh, with that, some of the changes, as you can see, is going to be in the, in the part number. So the uh, prefix is going to be a PN or a SN or a PNW and an SNW for the outdoor series of the load centers. There's going to be a C for copper or it will be blank if it's aluminum bus. And all of the load centers, you will have the option to simply add a W at the end for the suffix to order it in white trim. Um, the breakers, uh, 
the electronic breakers are going to look, the part numbers are going to look very similar, but they're going to have a suffix N added on the end for plug on neutral. We have both one and two pole uh, CAFCIs, one pole dual functions, and one pole uh, GFCIs. Um, the load lugs only on the CFCI breakers are the only thing you have to land. They have uh, LED indicators for troubleshooting, and they have insta wire connectors. Uh, they're all 10,000K on the short circuit rating and UL approved. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the old breakers with the pigtails are, you can use those in these load centers. So if um, you have a big inventory of breakers or that's all that's available, um, you know, the way they function and perform is the same. It's just the installation that's going to be like it was on the old centers. So that backward compatibility we think is important because a lot of people still have inventory or they're doing renovations and they want to reuse breakers from old Siemens load centers. And that's something you can do. Um, oh, uh, yeah. The uh, LED indicators for troubleshooting, what, what all does that entail? Is it just, uh, is it just an LED for when the breaker is, um, is popped or, or is that actually telling you if it's this or that? Like what all does that indicate? So I'm not I'm not the breaker expert, but I know there is a test procedure, um, and it's like a little push button, and it'll indicate that the breaker's functioning properly. So let me let me get a copy of those instructions, a PDF, and I'll I'll provide that so that you can send that to everybody, and they can see exactly what that does. Okay, excellent. So some of the changes we're looking at, uh, the SN panels are going to have a factory installed ground bar. Um, the old ES series, you had to order it as an either an accessory or certain models. You could order it pre-installed, but now they will all come with one ground bar. Uh, the AFCIs are going to have the one lug. There's the integrated neutral bar. We have uh, two new interlock kits to go with the PN and the SN load centers. We have some new lug kits. Uh, catalog numbers are new. Our copper 150 amp bus and above is now is tin plated, and it now has the CU stamp on the bus, so it's clearly identified as being tin plated copper. Because we used to get a lot of questions like, it looks like aluminum and people trying to scratch the bus to get deep enough to see the, the copper underneath. Um, the tie strap no longer runs across the top. It runs underneath between the neutral bars and uh, the, the indoor skews are all available in white. Um, so on the SN panels with the one ground bar that's gonna allow for 50% uh, gr ground positions the neutral bars are 75% neutrals positions based on the number of circuits. Um, the PN is 75 on the grounds because it has two ground bars and 100% on the neutrals. You can use existing breakers. They're, they are approved for the SN and the PN. We have uh, some surge options, first surge and the QSA breakers. And they just released a new bolt shield breaker. I'll be sending all this information to Nick so he can uh, show you some updated details on that and share that with you. And for the most part, other than the interlocks and some other small accessories, the same accessories will be listed on the wiring diagram and can be used on, on the new load centers. So one of the things I'll point out if you're um, using, for example, a SN2424, and you don't have enough neutrals, one way to, to get around that is to order the SN2448 because then you'll have 75% of 48 instead, instead of 75% uh, of 24 neutral positions. Um, so again, you know, these are simple, quick breaker installation, AFCIs with one lug, and we've kept 
all the old features. And the load centers, the transition between the PL and the ES and the PN and the SN should be relatively seamless. There's no uh, special installation method for the breakers. It should feel like you're still working with the same load center. Uh, it's spacious. We have the small electronic breaker footprint. Um, the breakers don't cover the neutral bars. Some of our competitors, they actually, the plug on portion clips over the neutral bar. You lose a position and it also kind of clutters things up. And we have over four inches of wire bending space. Um, it's secure. We're using the same clip for the neutral clip as we do on the line side. Uh, we have the same sturdy hook rail and there's no new method of installation. This is our selection and application guide. And this, this is a short document that gives you all the load centers and the plug-on catalog numbers that are available. One of the more important features is going to be all the way at the end, the, our Murring load centers, our SN, the crossover to the SN, if you're looking for a, for that. And it's also going to show the P series and the, the S series in their crossover. And what you may see in some cases, it won't be too many, but some of the, um, so for example, if you look at this P1624, um, B1100, you'll notice that the PN is a 1632. So it actually has more circuits. And you might see some small changes like that because one of the things they wanted to do was to standardize the, the lengths of the sections they're utilizing um, and to simplify the production process. So all this not only streamlines our offering, but we're trying to make it so that we can uh, maintain our inventory and the supply chain running as smoothly as possible by having the need to have multiple parts and variations of the, those parts. So by having standardized sections of bus and neutral bars and ground bars, we're able to do that and, and better keep the inventory rolling. Um, Nick, I'm gonna send you this selection and application guide as well. If you, if you wanna pass it along. It's also available at our download center. It's, like I said, it's got a lot of really, so it has some of our surge options. It, it'll be being updated with the new um, bolt shield, which goes directly into the load center and plugs on just like a breaker, which is mm -hmm. kind of like the QSA breaker, but it's not, it's, it's a, a mid-range cost solution. And that's required for, um... Uh, I believe Allegheny uh, code, correct? Or for is that available? Is that for code for all of? Uh, I don't know if that's just Allegheny, but is that that's code for all new installs, correct? To have the surge. Anyone that's adopted the latest version of the code, yes. So I know there are some jurisdictions that are back to the 2014 code, and they're not worried about this yet. Yeah, that's Pittsburgh. That's that's pretty much all of Pennsylvania, except for Philadelphia, I think, has 2017. So, but it's coming. I mean, you know, um, here you can see the the part numbers are, are listed for the the 10 and the 11, which are for the SN and the PN load centers. For the new, those are the new interlocks, um, and it used to be with. The, with uh, the old interlocks, you lost a position because there was a, a, the way it was designed and they've redesigned that so you're not losing any positions anymore. Hey team, so I think that the most important pieces of this, uh, if, if I was an installer in our area and I was thinking about using this product, for me, the labor savings, you're going to get a, a quicker job done. You've got more space on either side for, to work inside that panel, and you're using less, of, um, less wire. So with those uh, arc fault breakers and things like that, you're not having to run the wire all the way in and uh, 
there's just there's multiple pieces to this that make it better, simpler, and easier. Uh, what, what were your three taglines? I, I simple, spacious, and secure. And, and I want to add to that, Nick, that you know we a lot of the feedback we've had for contractors is not just the time savings, but when they get a problem and they get called back to troubleshoot it, they save a lot of time because of the much cleaner install, the space, and the visual ability to look in. And, and some people have commented they think it's helped with inspections because, you know, first impressions with an inspector, he doesn't feel like he has to dig as deep, I guess, is, is, is kind of the way they, some, some of the feedback we've had has gone. Mm -hmm. um, also with this, these are in stock at Scott Electric. These are now the Siemens panels that are carried at every one of our branches. So the great part is all of the breakers that you've had uh, in your trucks, in your inventory, in the warehouse and whatnot will work with these. And we have all the updated breakers um, as well as the older ones in stock uh, that are available. So if you're a, if you're a Square D uh, installer right now, you're, you're having a big problem trying to find any breakers right now. We've got our Siemens breakers in stock. We've got, we're, we've got more than enough. So that's the great part about Scott Electric. We, our, our inventory is always there. And I, I just want to say um, I appreciate this opportunity, Nick, and the time. But any feedback on the panel, I do want to hear it, positive or negative, because we're always looking to, to improve it, even though it's brand new. You know, we're mm -hmm. constantly looking to make any changes, any tweaks we can to make it easier on, on the guys in the field. Mm -hmm.